Hello everyone, this is Mr. Robert Ronan here again, and today I'm here for my breakdown on Kirishima. Kirishima, I would definitely say, is one of the most up-close brawler characters in the entire game. He's really good combos from up-close, and obviously with his hardening quirk, he has a lot of pressure and uh, that sort of capability when he's up-close. He has really good mix-ups and pressure as well when he manages to get in, because he, he doesn't have any projectiles or anything, so sometimes he has a hard time against so. Anyways, let's get into his buttons. His regular attack string is this three hitting attack string, the third hit of which I completely hate. You can't cancel it into anything, not even a plus ultra, it just ends your combos there so you're always going to want to cancel before the third hit. His air attack string is also not that great, it's only a two hitting attack string which means usually you're going to, I basically, oh, you always have to cancel off of the first hit in order to get combos off of it, which makes him a little bit janky when he's in the air button mashing situation that you're often in online, <laughs> but it gets the job done and also it can lead to a wall splat if you're near the wall. Okay, his red attack is a pretty decent red attack. It has decent speed, it's not the greatest, but you know, it gets the red attack. It's not that long range as well, it's pretty average. Actually, you know, it's, it's de has decent range, and the speed for its range is pretty okay. So, yep, his yellow attacks on the ground, as you saw there, you can combo into it, and you can cancel into a quirk out of it. So I can cancel that into one of my quirk buttons, like that one just there. And you do that in most of your combos when you're in normal form, because when you're in hardened form, it doesn't really work. His air armor attack is this bounce, and just like the ground one, you can combo into it and cancel into a quirk after it. So, and that's how you're going to extend most of your combos as well. His quirk one is where you are going to harden, and we'll cover all of his buttons again since they kind of change, except for his regular attack string. That's about the same, except it's slower of course. This throws the opponent a bit further, but it's still essentially the same. His red move is the same, just a bit slower of course, because he's in the hardened mode. And his armor attack uh, doesn't show the yellow anymore, because he's always armored in this state. But its purpose is that it actually makes him fully invincible to um, armor attacks while he's doing this. Because usually armor attacks, like if Bakugo did one, it would break me out of my armor state, but if I do my counter attack, it'll go through it completely. So that's really good, and I didn't even take any damage while I did. So his armor attack is what really changes when he's in this mode, and you also can't combo into it, unfortunately. Um, so, still on his quirk 1, the point of it is that he's obviously in a hardened state. I'm sure if you've played this game, you know what it does. It just essentially means opponents, when they attack you, you don't go into hit, uh, hit animation, so they can't actually properly like hit you, and I can combo them if they try to do anything against me. But I'm a lot slower, and my moves are easier to react to, and the armor can be broken by using a yellow attack or a red attack. So an armor break attack or an armor attack will break his armor stage. And that's essentially his quirk 1. Uh, the activation you can use to cancel uh, combos to make them even longer when you're in normal state. So I'll, I'll wait for it to wear off. Okay, there we go. So you can do two attacks into quirk 1, and then you can attack out of it as well to extend for some good combos. Okay, his tilt quirk one, which you've seen me use, is this move where he jumps into the air and then like barrel rolls you and bounces you off the ground. It's really good, it does a lot of damage, and you can cancel it into his combos and use it. I use it as his main combo extender, and you can cancel it after his armor attack. That wasn't optimal at all, but you can see that it does a lot of damage when extending combos. Oops, messed up that, but that does about 10,000 damage. Uh, this move I use actually a lot as sort of his like ranged projectile move, like if he's having trouble getting in or something, 
sometimes I throw this out, like if they're gonna attack me on the ground as well, because he jumps in the air, he'll dodge whatever attacks they throw at you. So you can throw this out sometimes, and it's also completely safe on block. So if I put Bakugo onto action after guarding and target combo, when I do this, there's no way he can punch me because it hits them so far. Oops, oh no. Not bad. It hits them so far away, and it also does a lot of guard pressure. So it's, it will break their guard quite often. But see, there's no way that they can punish you, so you can kind of throw this out without any. Without fear. You can just throw it out all in the neutral as his kind of his neutral tool instead of his projectile. Yeah, that's that move. His quirk 2 is this multi-hitting string, 7 hits, but you only have to press the button 3 times. You can cancel into it from his regular attack, so you can go attack, attack into this. And you can also dash cancel to use it as a combo extender. Um, a lot of people use this as his main combo extender, but I actually don't, because it scales a lot more than his other attacks that you can use to extend combos, like his Tilt Quirk 1. doesn't scale a combo as much. In the air, his Quirk 2 is actually really good, unlike the grounded version, I use it in almost every combo, because, as you saw there, you can combo out of it if it hits. You can hit do the first two hits, and then you can go into regular attacks from whatever situation you're in. Oops. <laughs> so yeah, you do the first two hits, and go, in, and go into whatever else. And this doesn't have to be when you're in the air, it applies on the, um, it doesn't have to be on the ground, it applies when you're in the air as well. You can combo out of it, after the first two hits. So that's a really good combo extender that you can use a lot with Kirishima. His Tilt Quirk 2 is this grab, it does a lot of damage, and it's going to be one of your main combo enders as well. So after you do this into his armor attack or something, and then you end that with that, and then you've gotten quite a de decent amount of damage to end your compass with. It's the same in the ground as in the air. It does damage. You can also dash cancel it. So sometimes I use it to extend combos. If I go this into the armor move and then cancel into this, I'll dash cancel out. And then end with this as well. If you hold it down, it turns into a red attack and does a bit more damage, so you can use this as a mix-up up here because it has a similar animation. So that mix-up works quite often, I've noticed. And obviously you get a combo off of it just like the other one. Okay, now that we've gotten into his basic buttons, um, I think we can go into his combos, which is where Kirishima is actually really fun. When I first started playing with him, it didn't seem like he had any like, really good combo routes. But when you look a little bit deeper than I did, he's actually really fun combo-wise. So, from regular form, a, a bread and butter combo that I usually like doing is two hits to armor move, into tilt work one, dash cancel, hit, uh, nope. Two hits, armor move, work one, dash cancel, tilt attack, two hits of that, and then finish with the grab, and then that's 10,500 damage, guys. That's pretty crazy. For someone that I didn't think that was very combo heavy, especially since the people online never do combos like this, I didn't think that he had cool combos, but he has really cool combos, guys. So I'll show it again. It's two hits, into armor attack, into tilt work one, attack into armor attack, into tilt work two twice, into two attacks on the ground, and tilt quirk 2 to finish. And that's quite a decent amount of damage. And you can actually extend it a bit more if you want. It can get a bit tricky like this. You can do two hits into armor move. Oops. Into the grab and then cancel the grab. And then for two dash cancels, you actually get 11,600 damage, which is pretty crazy. It's definitely above average damage. So yeah, two dash cancels, 11,600, that's really great. Um, if you want to, you can, so Kirishima can often get uh, similar, if you know his combo routes off of any situation. So if you're in the air, you can do an air attack, 
into, you can get a free combo if you do into armor attack, into his quirk 2, quirk 2, and then you go into his attack, into armor attack again, into his hero out. Still quirk 2, and then you've gotten 7,500 damage, completely free. And obviously you can throw in a dash cancel to do a bit more damage. Oops, I messed that up, but it would have been about 10,000 damage. Another way he can combo is by using his quirk 1 during his string. So if I go attack, attack, quirk 1, attack, attack, and then into still quirk 1 again. Oops, I cancelled a bit early. And I guess while we're in here like this, I'll show a combo when you're in armor state. You have to leave the armored attack out of the... Of um, this armored attack out of the combo because it doesn't connect when you're in armored state. So yeah, your attack will go like this. Attack, attack, tilt quirk one. Oh, and actually you leave the um, tilt attack in the air out because he does he finds it hard to connect after that. So two attacks, tilt quirk one, attack, attack, tilt quirk one. Oops, that would have worked, but missing some damage there. My bad. So, attack, attack, my bad again. <laughs> attack, attack, tilt quirk one. Oh, uh, I did the armor attack. Attack, attack, tilt quirk one, dash cancel. Oh my goodness. What is happening? Attack, attack. Oh, damn it. They can be a bit finicky, especially with the corner. And there we go, when you use the armored state, the quirk one, you can get an easy 11,000 damage, which is also really good damage, so you can include your armored state in that way. Um, I guess now that we've done his basic combo, so I'll just do it again just to enforce it. When you're in regular mode, you go into combos using the armor attack, into quirk one, and you use the armor attack in the air as well. And you can do that. To do that much damage, or if you want to go into the armor state, you can go attack, attack, and support one. Oops, don't mess it up though. Thanks, Wall. And then he gets easy damage that way as well. So he has a few routes that you can do for combos, and the same applies for when you're in the air, just extend it a bit differently, throw in some extra dash cancels. And yeah. Um, Kirishima, you're going to be using his plus ultra quite a bit if you have the meter because if I have Bakugo doing his target combo, you can practically, okay there wasn't a gap in his string, but even if it's the small gaps that you can't sidestep out of, Kirishima can do his plus ultra in the middle because yeah, because it has his armor on it. So even if you would have normally gotten hit by the attack, he will armor through whatever it is and keep doing his plus ultra one. And so you want to make sure you can get the most out of the plus ultra one so you can actually stand off of it by using battle go. Oops, you don't mess up. A lot of the time you're going to get a roll like this. Oops. But you see the point. You can get. You can use Bakugo or Kaminari as well to extend off of it. Oh, 
Oh man. That does about 12,000 damage though if you do it, do it properly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I see how it is. Yeah, sorry. It, it'll be 12,000 damage, I promise. So you just cancel into whatever combos you do, usually. I have to show it, don't I? So, from whatever it is, plus ultra 1, pull up Bakugo. go. Oh, oh my god. Okay, I oversimplified it there, but you see, you'll get a lot of damage for free. For just them trying to attack because you couldn't put the plus ultra one through anything. And I'm sorry to make this a short one, guys, but that's practically Hiroshima. Um, he's really good on pressure. I'll show you his guard pressure is really great. Because you can just always cancel into his tilt work one. And it does a lot of guard pressure. So you see, now I've already broken his guard with just like one of those. See the one thing is does like over half of the guard meter, which is really crazy. But it's also completely safe, so you can just throw it out. No, no thought, no risk. Because he's totally safe every time he does this. And if it does hit, well then, lucky you. You've just gotten full combo with Kirishima because he loves this move. Because it extends into combos. And here's his plus ultra 2 if you want to see it. So yeah, overall Kirishima is a really good close ranged character. He has really fun combos and lots of ways to catch the opponent off guard, either by using his hardening state on block or doing some other uh, b block pressure with his tilt block 1. But he has really cool combos and good mix ups and he's just a really fun brawler character, you know? There's not too many of them in the game because a lot of people have projectiles. Um, I just want to show you one more thing of his guard pressure. If you go into this, you almost have guaranteed into this whole situation, even though it's really slow, because if he has armor, there's practically nothing the opponent can do in between this connecting, because if they try and attack, then they're gonna get hit with your attacks, because you, you have, like, Kirishima armor on them. So if you go this, this, to the attack, and then attack, attack, into armor move, that instantly breaks their block, and then you can go into whatever combos you like, but yeah, Kirishima is really fun, and you can just really be almost like a boss character with him. He's just so crazy, and you can go into that. It's completely safe. You feel like Sonic the Hedgehog doing that, <laughs> and you can get easy confirms and cool confirms. That's the most important thing. Using his tilt attack and his quirk two, quirk two. There's another really good combo that you can do just off of the air and it only cost me one dash cancel. But yeah, Kirishima is really fun. I suggest you guys stop sleeping on him and saying that, oh, his armor state's terrible, because you don't have to do it all the time. I almost barely use it except for on block strings or to extend my combos. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Kirishima is really fun, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!